Hi there, thank you for checking out this channel. I'm Sir Sandro. And in this video, I am going to continue my discussion on loss of exponents, part three. And in this video, our target is to apply the downward and upward negative exponent and reciprocal rule in simplifying expressions. Let's start with property number seven. Our property number seven is the downward negative rule. Algebraically, a raised to negative m equals one over a raised to m, where a is not equal to zero and m is greater than zero. So it means negative exponents in the numerator get moved to the denominator and become positive exponents. So let's start with this example. If we have 3x raised to negative 4 using the property number 7, we can actually just copy the 3, copy the 3, and remember that we can separate uh, the monomial into 3 times x raised to negative 4, right? And we know that the denominator of x raised to negative 4 is equal to 1. Applying property number 7 or the downward negative rule, we can simplify this algebraic expression into 3 over x raised to 4. And this is the final answer. Okay, 3 over x to the 4. So basically, I just move the x raised to negative 4 to the denominator to make it positive. That's the downward negative rule. Next example, if we have negative times the quantity of 2x raised to negative 3. Now, uh, I want you to be careful, class, because the base here is just 2x, okay? The negative doesn't belong to the base. Therefore, we can rewrite this expression as negative, okay, negative 1, Okay, times 2x raised to negative 3, all right? And we know that this one is just over 1. This one is just over 1. That's the default denominator. So in this case, we can just have the negative 1 here. Just copy that. And let's move this entire expression to the denominator, all right? So let's have times, and the numerator will become 1 over 2x raised to positive 3. Can you follow? Again, I just move this to the denominator. So that's why 2x raised to negative 3 moved to the denominator. It became 2x raised to 3, or the quantity of 2x raised to Three. Can you follow, class? So in this case, class, after, after making sure that there is no negative exponent, all you have to do is to apply the previous properties that we already discussed. So in this case, uh, remember the distributive in nature, the power of the product rule? Yeah, let's apply that. We know that this is equal to negative 1 times 1, negative 1 over 2, 2 raised to 3, and x will also be raised to 3 using the power of the product rule, 2 cube, x cube, all right? And that is equal to negative 1 over 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8, x cube. And this is the final answer, right? Let's proceed to example number three. Example number three, negative 3x three raised to negative 2 over x squared. We're just going to use the downward negative exponent rule because hindi pwede yung negative na exponent. So, imove natin ito sa denominator natin. The negative 3 will remain. Negative 3 will remain over ang x raised to negative 2. Okay, let's just copy everything muna. 
negative 3 over x squared. And this one, pupunta, pupunta siya dito. So we have x squared. So instead of writing x raised to negative 2, it will become x squared. So multiply mo itong dalawa. Okay, multiply mo yan. We have negative 3 over x squared times x squared using the product rule. When we are multiplying the same base, what are the things that we are doing when we are multiplying the, the same base? We copy the base and we add the exponent. So 2 plus 2, 4. So our final, final answer is negative 3 over x to the fourth. Right? So this is the application of our property number 7, the downward negative rule. Let's proceed to property number eight. Property number eight is the upward negative exponent rule. So they are kind of similar, but in this case, uh, for the upward negative exponent rule, the negative exponents, the negative exponents in the denominator, okay, get moved to the numerator and become positive exponents. So algebraically, if we have one over a raised to negative m, that is just equal to a to the m, where a is not equal to zero and m is greater than zero, okay? So in order to understand this better, let's solve this example number one. And so we have two cubed over two raised to negative five. So in this case, we have a negative exponent, okay? We have a negative exponent here and using the upward negative exponent rule, we can just move that to the numerator. So that will become, okay, the two cubed will remain two cubed times two to the fifth power. So since from denominator, it moved to the, to the numerator, so it will become positive. So two to the fifth, and that is just equal to, now we are multiplying expressions with the same base. So we have, copy the base, we have two, and we add the exponents, three plus five, and that is equal to two, raised to eight. And that's our final answer. Let's proceed to example number two. If we have three raised to negative two over three raised to negative four. Okay, so in this case class, we have to um, move the denominator to the numerator. So in this case, the 3 raised to negative 2 will remain 3 raised to negative 2 times 3 raised to 4. Okay, pupunta siya sa taas. All right, and in this case, we can also apply the, we can apply the product rule. When we are multiplying the same base, we copy the base and add the exponent. So in this case, we have negative 2 plus that is equal to 3, negative 2 plus 4, that is 2. So 3 times 3 equals 9. All right? Do we have any question? Actually, there's another way. There's another way of uh, solving this problem. We can just actually uh, apply both, no? the negative and the the upward and the downward exponent rule. So we can just interchange, interchange, no? Interchange the two. So in this case, okay, if we have three raised to negative two over three raised to negative four, um, let's just move the numerator to the denominator and the denominator to the numerator. So in this case, we have three to the fourth over three squared using the downward and the upward negative exponent rule. In this case, we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. We have 3 times 3. You can just cancel. And we have 3 times 3 equals 9. So see, uh, if, you, if you know the basics, no, the basic of a loss of exponents, it would be easier for you. Uh, 
I'm just giving you properties. I'm just giving you uh, some rules. No, but it's up to you to utilize them. Okay, it's up to you to strategize which one is easier for you to uh, uh, employ using or uh, with a given expression. Now we have number three, six raised to negative two over three raised to negative three. So we can still use the same rule, the upward negative exponent rule. Uh, in this case, we have, we just need to copy the six raised to negative two. And then this one will go upward or to the numerator. So we have three raised to negative, uh, positive three rather. So six raised to negative two times three raised to three, right? However, we can, since this is not, no, this is not, they are not, having the same base, so we can just go directly or we can also apply the, the downward negative exponent rule. So ito, uh, papupuntahin natin siya sa denominator as well. So in this case, we have uh, 3 cubed will remain over 6 squared. Is that okay? 6 squared. So in this case class, our final answer is three, three times three times three, 27, right? Three cube is 27 over six times six, 36. Okay, so 27 over 36. And we can divide both sides by nine, their GCF. 27 divided by 9, that is 3. 36 divided by 9, that is 4. And our final answer is 3 fourths. All right? So, kumbaga, gin interchange ta lang, no? Ang, dua, ang numerator, makadto sa denominator. Kag ang denominator, makadto sa numerator. Kaya ti mga negative ilang ang mga exponents. I hope that's clear. Let's proceed to example number 4. We have here the quantity of 3x raised to negative 5, y squared, close quantity raised to 0, over the quantity of 4x raised to negative 3, y squared, close quantity raised to negative 2. We know, class, that this one, the numerator, we have this property, right? That any number or any expression, you raise it to 0, that is just equal to? What? One, right? That is just equal to one. So in this case, we know that this one, it might, uh, it might look like very complicated expression, but everything, everything is being raised to zero. So that is just equal to one. The numerator is just equal to one. And we have to copy muna the denominator. 4x raised to negative 3, y squared, right? Raised to negative 2. Now, class, if you observe, your denominator has a negative exponent. The entire expression is being raised to a negative number. So we can move again. No, we can move this uh, entire expression to the numerator so that this negative 2 will become positive 2. And then just copy everything. Do not change the sign inside the parentheses. All right? So we have 1 multiplied to, copy everything, 4x raised to negative 3, y squared, okay? The one that will change is just the sign of the negative 2, and it will become positive 2, right? This one, nagkanto siya sa numerator. And this is the result. 4x raised to negative 3y squared. Sir, tinga wala sa sir nag positive. No, the one that changed is the negative 2. One, one step at a time. Do not change muna yung sa loob ng parentheses. Okay. So in this case, we have 1 times the quantity of 4x raised to negative 3y squared, 
close quantity squared. So we know that, it's that this is just equal to this expression, right? Because it's just one. Let's solve. We have what property are we going to employ now? We have the power of the product rule, right? We have to uh, distribute this exponent, or no? We multiply the, the power here outside to the, all the exponents of the numerical coefficient and the variable. In this case, we have four, that's being raised to two, x raised to x raised to negative three, that's the original one. I'm going to multiply that to two. I have y squared. I'm going to multiply that by two. Can you still remember your the power of the product rule? So in this case, our answer is four times four, uh, 16. X raised to negative three times two, negative six. Y raised to four. Now, are we done? Nope, not yet, not yet. Hindi pwede, no? We are not allowed to have this, okay? We, don't, we are not allowed to have a negative exponent. So all we have to do is to apply again downward ex negative exponent rule. So in this case, the x raised to negative 6 will, will be moved to the denominator so that it will become x to the 6th power, okay? So we have 16 will remain, y to the 4th will remain, and your denominator is x to the 6th. And this is your final answer. Okay, we have 16 in the numerator as is, y to the fourth as is, but this x raised to negative 6, it will go to our denominator so that it will become positive. So x to the 6. Now let's proceed to the last one, the last rule, which is the reciprocal rule. In this case, if we have, for example, the quantity of A over B, and that is being raised to negative m, negative exponent, that is just equal to b over a raised to m, where a is not equal to zero. So in short, uh, negative exponents of a fraction become positive exponents by just interchanging the expressions of the numerator and the denominator, All right? Let's have this example. Say three fifth raised to negative two, okay, three fifths raised to negative two, using the, the reciprocal rule, we just need to interchange the numerator and the denominator. So in this case, our five will become the numerator, our three will become the denominator, and the negative exponent will become positive. That's a reciprocal rule. Reciprocal baliskad. No? We have. 5 squared, the power of the quotient rule, over 3 squared. Distribute the 2 to the exponent of 5 and 3. We have 5 squared over 3 squared. And then just simplify, we have 5 times 5, 25, over 3 times 3, 9. So the answer is 25 over 9. All right? We have... The second example, we have two to the two to raised to negative four over eight raised to negative four. Remember, remember this one can be written as two over eight raised to negative four, right? Nagin distribute niya na ya ang negative four. Okay, two over eight raised to negative four. We can rewrite that this expression to this one. So applying the reciprocal rule. We just need to reverse that 8 over 2, and then the negative 4 will become positive 4. Simplify 8 divided by 2, that is just 4, okay, raised to 4. So technically, your answer is just equal to 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. It's like 16 times 16. That is equal to 256. Do you have any question for this one?
again, let's recap, no? Let's recap our uh, last three uh, laws of exponents or properties. So we have the downward negative exponent rule, the upward negative exponent rule, and the reciprocal rule. And that ends my discussion on loss of exponents. I hope you learned a lot from part one, part two, part three. If you haven't watched them, please do so that your uh, concepts and skills in solving and simplifying expression will be solidified. No? Solidified using the loss of exponents. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.